Majority of gun owners, overwhelming majority of gun owners think that's a good idea. So if we've got lobbyists in Washington claiming to speak for gun owners, saying something different, we need to go to the source and reach out to people directly. We can't allow those filters to get in the way of common sense. And that's why I need everybody who's listening to keep the pressure on your member of Congress to do the right thing. Ask them if they support common sense reforms like requiring universal background checks or restoring the ban on military-style assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. Tell them there's no legislation to eliminate all guns. There's no legislation being proposed to subvert the Second Amendment. Tell them specifically what we're talking about. Things that the majority of Americans, when they're asked, support. And tell them now is the time for action. That we're not going to wait until the next new town or the next Aurora. We're not going to wait until after we lose more innocent Americans on street corners all across the country. We're not going to wait until somebody else's father or son are murdered. Some of the officers here today know what it's like to look into the eyes of a parent or a grandparent, a brother or a sister who has just lost a loved one to an act of violence. To see the, the pain and the heartbreak from wondering why this precious life, this piece of your heart was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It changes you. You're not the same afterwards. And obviously, Whatever that experience is like is, is nothing compared to the experience that those families are actually going through. And it makes you realize that if there's even one thing we can do to keep our children and our communities safe, if there's just one step we can take to prevent more families from feeling what they feel uh, after they've lost a loved one. We've got an obligation to take that step. We've got an obligation to give our police officers and our communities the tools they need to make some of the same progress that's been made here in Minneapolis. There won't be perfect solutions. We're not going to save every life, but we can make a difference. And that's our responsibility as Americans. And that's what I'll do every single day, as long as I've got the honor of serving as your president. So thank